Hello, my name is Kodak and welcome to my first ever episode on YouTube. Today I will be trying out a new game called Minion Masters. The game uses the same concept as the popular mobile game Clash Royale. The game is still in early access so we could be getting some difficulties but that never stopped me. So without further ado, let's get into the game. And we'll just click continue, we're logging in, and the game is loading right now. Welcome to a world of entertaining minion duels. Let's jump right into it and see if you stand a chance against your first opponent. Well, let's see. Okay, select a card. Um, let's go for that one. Looks like a, a tanky character, I guess. Well, this is easy. It doesn't spawn any enemies by itself, apparently. So this is really like a tutorial. Oh, you can actually throw fireballs and stuff. That's basically the same as College Royale. But then a bit more flashy, to be honest. Never twice, but I do. Okay, so instant level up. You got a new card, apparently. A cleaver. It's a regular card, is a minion, very high damage, but very slow attack speed. So basically a tank, I guess. Okay. Yeah, we'll see what we can do with that. We also gained some gold, so I guess we can buy some heroes or something later on, or minions. We're going to the second duel. Counter a cleaver by spawning many small minions. Okay, sounds good. Okay, we're gonna place that one there. He destroys it in one hit. That's pretty sick. So I need to defend my own place, of course. Also gonna spawn that one. Okay. That's defended, I guess. That's a big one, so I'm gonna put in some of the smaller minions to hold them back. And during that time, this is already down. Another level up, but yeah, that's all in the tutorial, of course, so it's pretty normal. And we got Stun Lancers. Their attacks will stun an enemy for two whole seconds. Shocking. Oh, that could be good for taking down, like, the big ones. Well, we'll see. And some cash again. Using stun lancers to stun powerful enemy minions is a great counter. Well, yeah. I do like the graphics, by the way. Um, they look really flashy. Bridges are now active. Capture one to earn experience. Okay. These are your perks. Earn enough experience and you'll unlock them. Okay, so long shot Stormbringer gains global attack range. Aerodynamics, all range friendlies gain markmanship. Uh, that's decent, some extra range. That's always good. And Stormbringer gains double attack speed. Now the question is who is Stormbringer? Is that my own character? I guess. Oh, roger that. Let's go. That one is down. Okay. Well, they're attacking their barrel fortress or whatever you want to call it. A new perk. Okay. 
Okay, guess... No, we can't use them by it's themselves, so it's like a continuous thing. Oh, he defends when the people crush the Brits and stuff. Okay, that makes sense. I'm gonna push a bit more on this side. I don't know if he's able to get to that barrel. Yeah, you can at least attack it once, which is nice. That one's almost down. I'm gonna push the south side. And one on the north. I guess this should be enough, right? I got the new perk, the extra range. Okay, yeah, they can shoot from a bit farther than that dude. That one is dead. Just spawn some extra stuff in, just to be sure. And this is another victory. I feel like a million bucks. Another level up, and a new card. A dragon whelp. Um, it's a regular minion, and it has wings, which is good against melee ground minions. Okay. They can target ground and air, or pretty fast attack speed, I guess. Yeah, looks decent. And some coins. Okay, so let's go for the fourth and final duel. Flying minions cannot be hit by ground melee minions. Okay, that can come in handy. But they can attack them, of course, so that's good. Now you're ready to face a real minion master, along with his nasty perks. Well, okay. I'm gonna put that one here, because he should be able to attack him and not the other way around. Right? Yeah. Gonna place those there, and those there. They should be able to take that one down. Okay, good. I'll place her there, because she's also really strong. And some backup. Okay, we're getting a decent amount of experience. We did got the first one. He's actually attacking the fortress. Wow. Let's push this side. Oh, that one's almost down to one hit. Oh, now it is. all together and I guess we have a GG right now yeah this one is done so that was the final tutorial mission let's see what we get now okay the sniper scrap He's a regular minion, a scrap with a sniper rifle, poor damage but very long range. Now that could be handy if you place it like all the way back. Oh, we'll see. I'm up for trying anything, so. Uh, your deck is missing a card. Click up here to add it. Now add the sniper scrap to your deck by clicking it. Okay. You can hone your skills in the solo challenge and earn great rewards. Okay. Or you can play solo or multiplayer. Um 
I would be up for trying the solo challenges first. To earn some better cards and stuff. After that I'm up for uh, multiplayer of course. Unlike minions, buildings lose health over time. Okay. So they also have buildings just like Clash Royale. <laughs> I love this character. It looks really fun. I myself look a bit badass, but it's different. Okay, that one should be able to attack that one from a distance. Yeah. Okay, so this is building and it does lose uh, a bit of HP every second. Uh, don't need that one. Okay, you're gonna push his tower a bit from King Puff. Okay, that one's getting shot. This tower is getting wrecked. I'll just fire a fireball at it. And that was enough. So that was the first solo victory. Another level up. And a power token. I have no idea what it does, but we'll see. And 20 coins. Okay. Gold is used to purchase power tokens in the shop. Get gold by winning duels, completing daily quests, and by increasing your level. Okay. Um, you've acquired your first power token. The power tower is now active. Go use it. Well, let's have a look. I guess we can get new cards here. Okay, we get some crystals, I guess. Oh, shards. You got 50 shards. Shards are used to craft cards and acquire masters. Or monsters. Okay, we'll see. I have no idea where to buy them later on, but... We need to reach level 7 to open the shop. So from level 7 and on, we can buy different cards. You can use spells to attack buildings and minions on your opponent's side of the map. Well, yeah, we know that. <laughs> Best tip ever, 10 out of 10. So I'm going to place that one here with the minions on top. Should have placed them a bit more to each other. But oh well. Gonna place those together. So I got some damage, it's not much, but it's something. And now we can push his side. Got my first perk, that's always nice, so he gains some attack range. So now he can attack his tower if he's not using any minions. Counter that one with the flying thing because he can't attack it. Just to make sure that he doesn't attack my tower, I'll place those there. His tower is getting attacked again. Fireball on those. I kind of misfired that one, but oh.
let's see what this does. It does get a lot of damage for it. My marksmen have some extra range, which is nice. Place that one there. Should be able to shoot that one. And those. It's defeated. I stand for rightness. Okay, let's continue. Didn't get anything special, no level up whatsoever, but I will level up next round, I guess. On onward to the next one. Remember you can hover over perks to read about them. I know that. I'm gonna let him push for a bit, because then I can counter push. Claim that one for the XP. Okay, that one barely survived. But oh well. Okay, that one can rush for his tower. That's a lot of damage. He's almost down to half of his HP. And just wait with the final push. Attack speed is really slow, so this seems to be enough, I guess. Throw in a fireball. And it's done! My so now we're level 7. Got a thousand gold. Okay, seems like a lot. Since you only earn 20 gold each match. Level 8 reward, crossbow dudes. So that's a new card, I guess? Okay, sounds good. Cool. Um, you now have enough gold to purchase a power token from the shop, and it just opened. What a coincidence. I think not. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. I'll take one token. Thank you. Now we should place the token in here. And let's see what we get. Okay, what's this? A Scret Launcher. Massive range, always shoots at the nearest enemy building. Scratch, go in. Screaming rocket power balls of fur come out. Okay, sounds like a lot of fun. You have no power tokens. No, I don't want to buy anyone, but I want to add that card to my deck. Your deck is full. Mm. Which one should I delete? Don't use the sniper that much, so I guess I'll go for that one. Because I want to test that one out, the launcher. Because I don't know how buildings work in this game. In Clash Royale, they could be really strong if you use like a, a whole uh, deck around it, but I don't know how it works in this game, so we'll see.
Okay, using minions that do area damage will counter hordes of small minions. Oh, kind of. Sounds pretty logical, right? So, Mordar. It's like a skeleton. Yeah. So, use these two against it because they're melee and like smaller minion groups. See, they're getting wrecked pretty easily. Oh, that one just got defeated. But my minions are attacking his castle already. I'll just place this one in the middle. See what it does. So it doesn't shoot out of itself. So only on buildings, apparently. Oh, well, that's a letdown. That was a waste. So let's place the minions here to stop that one ASAP. Okay. Let's send some support in. And this should be it. And a fireball. Okay. Oh, it's not enough yet? Okay. Send in some defense troops. This should be enough for the push, I guess. Got the new perk for the distance again. That's nice. And we're done. I feel like a million volts. Oh, another token. Oh, even two? That would be nice. Let's have a look. Yeah, I got two. Okay. Give me them good cards. What's this? Oh, it's a rare. Uh, summons five legionnaires, but eight if your opponent controls both bridges. Okay. That's a good combat card, I guess. Looks good. I need to replace the tower I just put in, so. What's this? Scrap pack. Two weak melee minions good for taking bridges and as cheap targets. Okay. Not a big fan of that kind of playstyle, but who knows? I can remove you and I would love to pit in the last stand. It's expensive, seven mana, but why not, right? Well, since I've done the first solo challenge, the intro one, um, I'm going to call it a day for now, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Um, if you like the video, press that like button. If you like my channel, please subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye!